Once again, appreciate it. I'm a vegetarian. Yeah, I know I am one, yeah. That doesn't mean that I haven't previously enjoyed a tasty burger, though. I wasn't always a vegetarian, so, like, I sort of know what I'm talking about a little bit when I talk about meat. I used to eat the meat all the time. Man, sometimes, like, maybe too much meat as well. Maybe I ate a bit too much meat at points in my life. How far before this... There's not that many people visiting the zoo. I'm surprised. It's only 10 bucks. Costs just as much to visit the zoo, which is arguably more fun than visiting Walur's Park. Costs just as much. And Walur's Park has had 9,512 visitors. The zoo's had like 50. that noise and where did it come from okay good all right so we have to sort out this entrance up here too and I'm not quite sure how we're gonna do it we could go for some sort of Dingleheimer or something we could transform this into a very big Dingleheimer which isn't like such a bad thing and we could connect the highways directly up to said Dingleheimer and then we could connect this road up to the Dingleheimer as well. Uh, do I want to do that though? Ah. Ah. What? Casually ignoring the fire? Ah, what can you do? Have I unlocked the maid light yet? I've got like a bit of it. No, I haven't unlocked the rest of this. I don't think I'm going to either. I got this little bit so that we can maybe get a train line into here. I'm not hopeful though. We might just be using local train lines. We might just have to use local trains instead. safe to put apartments so close to the zoo? What if the animals break out? Take over an entire apartment block? That could be bad, right? What if they just break out one day and just take over a whole block? That could be a disaster. Two zoo ticks for me, the best guy. Tomorrow I will say yes to a promotion at work that will move me from the east coast to the west coast of Sweden. Whoa! Exiting. Saw on Twitter that your fellow Yogs is in town for PaxCon. I will try to give them a beer tomorrow. Oh yeah, you should do that. Yeah, they're in um they're in town for um, PDXCon. Yeah, you're right. Okay, look, we can't actually get this path down here because it's like right next to another path so even if you wanted to get a path in there it's like hell no gi joe you can't do it you can do that though good now you don't have to walk all the way around the block you can go through here instead what a great thing we've just created. Wow. Wow. The greatest city planner that has ever walked the earth. He's done it again, everybody. Mr. Ideas has created a shortcut for the fair people of Sipsalulu. That's right. A little shortcut for these people to enjoy on a hot day come in here and get some shade and you know what while you're in here why not enjoy for example 
What is going to happen when your kids ask for Fucking help with studies but benches, Mr. Ideas bitch. comes in saying no no daddy has to play games bye bye. Well, that's uh, I mean that's how I do that all the time actually. It's my job. Like. If I don't do it, we don't eat. So there's that about it, right? Dragon crimes. Thanks so much for the donation. Peace, Stefan. Thanks for the 20 bucks, man. Thanks. Thanks. Do you want to study or do you want to eat? And then they'll say, I'm hungry, I want to eat. Well, let me play games then. That's how we make money in this household. It's a simple fact. Oh. No. I have to play games. <laughs> Do a prison park. I don't think you can do one. Oh, I mean, what do you mean? Like, just with fences and lock them in? Like, have, like, what? Some fences and maybe... Maybe, like, some guard towers? And, like, possibly... A sort of, like, area in the middle where there's one outhouse for, like... Thousands of people and some signs that say nobody's allowed to use the outhouse and a guard post next to the outhouse as well to make sure nobody uses it I don't think you can do that with this DLC. I don't think you're able to I could look into it for you, but I don't think you can Shit, I think there was another fire back here too even though we have the watchtowers. There's been more fires the population is starting to rise a little bit. Do 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 What was this again? Oh yeah, this is the hot air balloon tours. Oh shit, you know what we forgot to do? We got a sightseeing bus depot here, and we could have walking tour points of interest. Oof. We could set up a walking tour. This is a sightseeing bus stop. Walking tour. Place points of interest to create a walking tour. Tours going through areas with a high appeal attract more tourists. Okay, we're gonna create a new line for people to have a walking tour. Okay, walk around here. This is a good point of interest. And then maybe walk to here. This is a pretty nice point of interest here too. This is where you get onto the blimp if you're sick of walking. And then here's a good point too. It's a nice walking tour point. Where else can they walk to? I'll tell you what. Up here is interesting enough too, look. There's some good shit up here at the high school. Tay he. All right. And then and then just double back down the road and then boom. Walking tour complete. Wow. Look at this walking tour. Ass and titties, ass, ass and titties, 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 ass, ass and titties, ass and titties, ass, ass and titties, ass and titties, ass, ass and titties, ass and titties. Willies. Thanks. Thanks, Sir Doodle. Hey, Crandella J72. Thanks for 30 bucks, man. I appreciate that. Thanks. And Sir Doodle, thanks uh, for the donation as well. Where? Hang on. We put a point of interest here, but there's no gate here. I'd say we move it there. So if they want to go into... They might want to go into here. Oh, look, you could create the lines. 
inside the... Wow! Okay. Are you fucking serious? The fucking forest fires in this game are unbelievable. Could nobody stop this? We were just about to make a walking tour over here at Jurassic Park. Can, is there a way to turn off the fires? Like, they're so annoying. Holy crap, they're so annoying. Random disasters. Dynamic weather. Day-night cycle. I don't think you can. Like, our coverage is good, too. I don't know why we have all of these issues. Look, we got two watchtowers here. And we got the helicopters and stuff, too. Like, over here is not covered at all. And there hasn't been a forest fire over on this side once. And all the places that are covered. Look, it completely... <laughs> it's burnt the entire island down. More helicopters, for fuck's sakes. How many helicopters do we need? What, like a million helicopters? The whole city is just going to be helicopter landing pad things. Look, Jurassic Park burnt down, kids. Our, our vacation's been cancelled. <laughs> Look at them go. They can't put out these fires. Smoking ban. I don't think that helps. You have to open campfire and weed smokers in your park. That's what starts the forest, forest fires. Would I ever go to my own parks? Yeah. Hell yeah, I would. For sure. Why not? Why not? All right, we'll have to do a walking tour over there once it's all rebuilt again. It's very tedious having to rebuild it, like, every five minutes. There shouldn't be that many forest fires, I don't think. What do I know, though, right? I'm dumb. I don't know shit. I don't know a thing. It is annoying though. You have to admit it is kind of annoying. <clears throat> All right, so we have some demand for residential. So we might as well start filling some of it. Pack in some light residential here. And then let's get some stuff packed into here too. Some light commercial. And then some residences in here too. Okay, good. And I have some demand for industry, too. Bong, 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 bong. 138 visitors to the zoo. Oh, look, we can see where people are coming from to visit the zoo. We got some out-of-towners coming to visit the zoo on both sides. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. And it looks like a bunch of people are walking to the zoo as well. Hopefully on the walking tour. Although, is the walking tour actually attracting visitors to the zoo? Oh, we could do a walking tour inside the zoo. What about, like, a haunted walking tour around Walur's Park? That could be fun, right? Like, let's have it start at the main entrance at midnight. And then guests are then able to stop off at the toilets on the way. A gazebo. And then they can double back around here to, like, this, this plaza or whatever. And then they might want to go here as well and they might want to stop off here and then just there a guided tour of Walur's Park 
brought to you by Nissan. Walur's Ghost Walk. <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. There. <laughs> okay. Good. It's only at night. <laughs> no, okay. It can happen during the day too. It's fine. We have two residents per week on walking tours. Nice. Nobody's using the hot air balloon apparently. Do I need to do something with the hot air balloon? Do I need to let... Or does it just go? It, I think it just goes. Oh, look. This has been... Oh, my God. What a disaster. What a total disaster. Somebody didn't... Um, unplug their toaster before they went to bed and this is what happens we have to rebuild the whole place sips did you know diarrhea is genetic it runs in your genes <laughs> yeah i i knew that yeah it runs it runs <laughs> in your genes and luckily luckily okay true story luckily i've never actually shit my pants with diarrhea before I've always, every time I've had diarrhea in my whole life, I've made it to the toilet, okay? Have any of you guys ever shit your pants with diarrhea? Like, in, like, I'm not talking about when you were a kid. Like, of course you shit your pants when you're a kid. I'm talking about, like, as an adult or a teenager or, like, a young adult or whatever. Because I never have. I never have. One time I was really sick and I was, I was on the toilet. Okay, I don't know. I, I should not tell you this. I won't tell you this. Listen. Okay, sedated, you shit your pants all the time? What the hell? You shouldn't be shitting your pants all the time. Okay. Not all the time. Maybe once or twice in your whole life, sure, but all the time. That doesn't sound right. It does not sound right. So we, we're going to have to do this every once in a while because of these forest fires. I could just enable that no more fires mod, which honestly is like one of the best mods. Okay, if we have another massive forest fire again, I'm totally going to enable that mod. I can't be dealing with this. What's with all these dead bodies as well? Shit. Shit. Okay, we got to start burning some bodies here. We gotta empty out this cemetery. So we have two clown town burners. You say you haven't shit your pants? No. Nope. You are full of lies just like your pants are full of shit. No, I never have. I did one time, but it wasn't like in public or anything. I was actually like on the toilet at the time. I got up. Um, I got up from from pooping. Hey Sips, okay. been watching since Orcs and must I die one so and violently. wanted to say thanks less than 3 BTW you should try replaying Orcs must die or Atom Zombie Smasher. Oh. If you do I'll give you 50 big ones. Yoshi, thanks for the 50 big ones. You missed it recently we played Atom Zombie Smasher. We played it like kinda recently. We, we, we played it and I finished it again. It was really good. Thanks Yoshi for 50 bucks. Cad, thanks for donation. Cape, Cape Lit TV. Thanks so much for the bits as well. Yeah, we did. We played Adam Zombie Smasher kind of recently, didn't we? Like, at least in the past couple of months. Remember one day I played it? No? Have I ever shit? Yeah, I've shit a couple of times. But listen, so I was on... So there I was. I had... I was really sick, okay? I had, like, food poisoning or something, I think. Um, and I had... Um, I was... I was I, don't imagine me doing this, okay? Because it'll shatter your illusions. Like that time my grandma told me to imagine Wayne Gretzky taking a shit. I never looked at him the same again. But anyway, I was I was taking a I was taking a diarrhea shit because I was really sick, and um, I finished. You know, I made it to the toilet on time. It was it was all good and everything. And then I got up, 
and I felt all of a sudden super sick. And I had been sick previously as well. So I turned around and I threw up like really fucking hard. Like it was like, bah! like it like almost blew me away. And the force of the throw up made like a little bit of shit come out into my pants. That's the only time, okay? No, no other time. No other time has it ever happened to me. My friend that I grew up with, his family were from the Ukraine. And, um, Fuck, I missed it, frown. He went to, um, yeah, you missed it, Yoshi. Thanks so much for the bits. He went back to the Ukraine to visit his family. That We were like, I think we must have been about 14 or 15. And uh, he went back to the Ukraine. And um, all he all he ate while he was there was McDonald's. Because, like, he couldn't get used to, like, the, the different food or whatever. So he went to McDonald's for every single meal. And he said after a couple of days of doing that, he just was just like shitting all the time and it was like not not like healthy shits you know and um he went to a cd store and he like he he like kneeled down or like squatted down to pick up a cd to look at it and he farted and shit came out and he was so far away from his home and stuff like he couldn't get back to like change his pants so he just walked around all day in this city with shit in his pants I, I guess like it happens, right? He just he said he said like all day he walked around with like shit in his pants. I guess it didn't like leak through to his pants or whatever, but there you go. Am I shitting right now? Yeah, I am. Yeah. This is the same guy that we were at a skate park one time and he had to take a poo really bad, so he went poo. There was no toilets around. He pooed like in a in an alley, um, and then he um, he wiped his bum with his sock and just threw his sock away. After, it's the same guy. So he's got like a bit of a, like a shitting history as well. Again, it happens. Sometimes you just can't help it. Sometimes you just gotta go so bad, and then you just gotta wipe with whatever is available, right? Sometimes it's a wedding dress. Sometimes it's your sock. It's just the way that it goes. It's just the way that it goes. Okay, let's get that in there. And then let's get some more commercial here. By Wailur's, Wailur's spooky ghost park. With a walking tour now. Good. And if this is all cool over here. Let's set up this walking tour. Okay, the walking tour starts here, ladies and gents. And then it goes to here. And then you know what? Why not check out these tents and stuff while you're at it, too? After you've... You know what? Check out the tents first and then walk back to here. Good. And then you can come in here and just have a little poke around, too. You can end up here. In the forbidden area. And then you're done. And then get out. Good. So now you can have a walking tour around Jurassic Park as well. Oh, that's nice. Sorely needed, I think. Sorely needed. No? It's an intense tour, yeah? <laughs> it's just, you're right about that. It is an intense tour. There's a lot of, a lot of tents to, to view along the way. What happened to no grids? Ah, uh, we need grids. It's too hard to make a city like all wacky like this. Well, it can be done, but... I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm really feeling the grids recently. I, I'm loving these grids. I'm loving them a lot. I'm loving all these grids. I think they're great, personally. All right, we emptied this one out, good. Cemetery empty. Nice. Okay, let's jam some offices in here. I think we're connected pretty well with water. Almost across the whole island, actually. Our water network is impressive, actually. Look at this. Nuts. Okay, how's the zoo doing now? Can we add anything new to the zoo, almost? No. We've had 200 visitors in total. 
out of 500 that we need for it to... We've had three visitors last week. All right, we're going to have to up, up the ante here. There, we're going to advertise the zoo. We're going to try to get some more people here. It's mainly tourists, right, that want to come to the zoo? We could do like a sightseeing bus, but I feel like we don't have that much in terms of landmarks and stuff. We can make the Chirpex launch site. Oh, there's a couple of things available to us here, like the Fantastic Fountain. Of course, the Fantastic Fountain is too big to be built inside one of our, our nice grids. We've got the Statue of Industry that we can build, though. Also doesn't fit. The Statue hey, of Wealth, which does What's fit. What's M. Night Shyamalan's favorite dance move? It's the tango. That's the twist. <laughs> That's the twist. Got it. Nice. Nice. Thanks so much. Akon for Bacon. Thanks. And Iris Umbros, thanks for the donation as well. I've been there since finally ill and having to sit on the toilet with a bucket in your lap. Things coming out of you from top to bottom. The human sprinkler is what I think it's called. Sounds like a sex move. Would not recommend. <laughs> no, I... Me neither. It's a terrible one. You don't want to be in that situation. Okay, let's put this ploppable statue right here for everyone to enjoy. We'll nestle it in between a lot of big buildings. Good. And we'll up the land value around here. How are we doing on the education front? Terribly, it turns out. We're doing really, really bad. We need some inner city schools. Okay, let's put one here. Good. Good. We'll shove one there. And, um... We can maybe even shove one at the end of this road as well. <clears throat> that would be good. We have... A thousand students eligible and capacity for 900 kids. Capacity for 900 of these bozos. Alright, good. We're back in the green, baby. High school? Oh my god. We only have one high school in the whole damn city. This is going to cause some big problems. We're going to need some more high schools. We have to educate the masses here. We want people working in our IT clusters when the IT clusters come online, right? We definitely want to do that. And we also want more people visiting the goddamn zoo, for Christ's sake. Ah, uh, look, we've had 34 visitors since we last checked. That's definitely more people going to the zoo now. Maybe the advertising campaign is working. Maybe it's finally working. It's doing what we need it to do. It's attracting the masses. Good. Nice. How do we handle this area down here? Do we grid up like this since it's on the other side of the highway? Or do we continue to grid through like this? I feel like we got to change the grid up a bit to use this bit here maybe. Although I'm not sure. I kind of like how, what we've done with the road here. How we haven't gone like onto the beach. So we could still have a beach. If we like... Just smooth it out a bit. We can just smooth out the beach a little bit here. And we can make a big beach park. I don't know if you can make a beach park. I might be lying to you. But there's like piers and stuff, right? Ugh. That's kind of all crazy. We'll try, though. We can always try it out, right? No? You want a beach park? I don't think there's, like, props and assets for a beach. Well, there might be little props, actually. Uh, 
There might be some little props, actually. We might be able to do it. We'll try it out, okay? We'll try it out after. I think we need to move some of this um, forestry industry, like, possibly over here. We can have like a big area of forestry industry over here, right? How much traffic's coming out of here? It's not too bad, actually. The traffic for forestry is not that bad. It's no way as bad as the, um, as like the dirty industry, right? No way is bad. I think we go like that. And then we can have like an intersection up here. Oh, you know what we could do actually? We have like big outer roads. We have like these big outer roads that sort of go. Wait, what's. The... And then look. We can go like up like this and over. And back down again. To like here. Mr. Ideas is cooking up a fresh one, guys. Mr. Ideas has an idea. He's got an idea for how we can do some industry here. I don't know if we want an intersection there necessarily, but we don't mind intersections on these outer roads. So that can go straight down. This is gonna fit. Oh, we're like one off. No, no, no. Okay, that can connect up. That can connect up. And then we can have some other ones in here like this. go all the way around and then we can just connect up to the highway right we could just connect this directly up to the highway with two lane highways connecting to the one under here with the curb Mr. Ideas is cooking up something special here. That's right, boys and goyles. Just have it go like a one way in and then they filter off to where they need to go and then we have like an an exit like up here or something i don't know actually that i'm not too sure about so if they want to go this way they'd have to come up here And then these guys can go in there, go in there, and then that goes like that, that goes like that. So they can go out that way or the other way. And they can come in from this way 
and they can't come in from this way. So we'd have to make it so that they can come in from this way. And we'd have to do it like this. <laughs> oh god. Lord forgive me. So we have to go over here like this now with the power lines and hook them up. It's just going to be it's just going to be forestry industry, right? It should be fine. Oh, the pipes are not connected up over here either. God damn. Hey Sips, long time wanker, first time donator. Not right. sure if this will be read out, but thanks to Teagles if it does. Please thanks. take my Canadian dollar -y dues, love you long time. Thanks to Teagles? What the hell, thanks to Teagles? What did Teagles do? Teagles, I've been watching you mod Sips' chat since I was 16. I've been through tough times. Is it like one of those? Or not really? Teagles. Thanks, New Neck. Thanks so much for the for the bits. Teagles. What the hell? All right, Teagles. Oh shit! That's Park. All right, Teagles. You got this one. There you go. Uh, we have to make sure that this is also forestry. And let's build some... Let's build some forestry! Yeah. Let's just pack it in here. See what happens. Screw it. Let's just see what happens with all of this forestry. This is our main industry, right? We've got to make it work. Then maybe we can sack off this stuff over here. It's starting to get a little bit busy over here. This will be interesting. <laughs> Let's see how this works. I took the, the long way around to get here. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Two trucks. Two trucks went through there and they didn't get traffic jammed. So that's got to count for something, right? Give them schools for the love of Viking gods. Oh, yeah. We need another high school, don't we? We need another high school. Uh, we need a university too, don't we? Jeez. Really need a university. Okay, let's get another high school in here then. I think we need a third high school. All right, good. University, we need one as well. Do we want to have a modern technology institute or do we just go for the, the old university? Just like slam it in here. Or should we make a proper university? Oh, we can make a proper university with the park and with the faculty buildings as well. That might be fun, right? No? Modern technology? Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> Make a proper campus? Okay, yeah, we'll do that. That sounds like a good idea. I can get behind that. Oh my god, these fires though. Not just the fires, but also this setup up here. So what do we need? A, we need like a some sort of garbage disposal up here. Which is a real shame. And also police as well. I guess we should probably have a road that leads up here. But I think what we'll do is we'll have the road come down here. Once we unlock this tile and connect up to the roads here. That might be better. We have no workers for this forestry industry, but we could probably start getting rid of some of the stuff in Timberland so that there's no industry just like nestled back here. Time for you to go to a new area. That's right, baby. That's right. Go across the way to Teagles. That's where you that's where you live now. Teagles. Hi Sips, I'm new to your streams, but boy oh boy do I love watching you stream this game. Also Here shouts you. out to Teagles, not <laughs> sure who he is yet, but he seems like a stand-up guy. Yeah, no, he's, he's okay. He's alright. He's an alright guy. Thanks so much, Has Lady Parts, for the bits. Appreciate it, thanks. You, you mean Treagles. <laughs> Good one. That's a good one. Okay. Treagles. I like it. Thanks, chat. Full credit. Full credit to Calorian in chat. Treagles. You got it, baby. You did it. Oh my god. The forest fire has spread to the top of the world as well. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. You know what? We are gonna enable a mod, okay? Just one. Hey, ships. One mod. It's the national day here in Norway. Just so one. So naturally, I've been inside all day, avoiding all the people celebrating. Right. Trying to study for my <laughs> upcoming exam in operating shystems. <laughs> Do you have any tips? <laughs> thanks. Or shoe thanks for being bished. Oh, thanks so much, Sticked Potet. Thanks for 20 bucks, man. I appreciate it. Um, do I have any advice for you in operating systems? Op you're, you're doing it. You're doing an exam in operating systems. That's crazy. I don't. I don't have. Okay, hang on a second. Which one do we want? Daylight Classic. Dynamic Resolution. Fine Road Anarchy. Hard Mode. No. No. This one. Oh yes, that's the one, baby. No fires. <laughs> Thank Christ for that. Okay. Time to continue our game. Jeez. Let's get rid of these fires. Enable hard mode. That's crazy. I never will. Let's see if the game crashes with the no fires mod on. All right, hopefully this is the last fire. We'll still have this stuff here just for fun, because it looks cool, but hopefully we don't have to deal. Look, look at this garbage. God, I hate them. The worst. Okay, we're back. We enabled one mod and everything seems fine so far, so that's good. Good. How's the zoo going? 363, not bad. We've got more people visiting the zoo now than ever. 
Good. Okay, let's start accepting some more bodies in here. Is there anywhere else that we need to start accepting bodies? I don't think so. Look at how fast this traffic is moving. Holy shit. Zoom, 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 zoom. Wow. Okay, good. Treacles is blossoming. We're happy with this. And we have the El Hombre Dale K in here too. Is this like on the, on the side a little bit? Somehow it's still working. That's so weird, isn't it? We might have to move that after. Okay, let's rebuild this. Oh my god, look at this. The end of the line cable car stop. We need the choppers up here. There it comes, look. Perfect, just in time. Search for survivors, boys. You find anyone? Nope. Good. It's no longer connected. That is such bullshit. God, that is bullshit. Okay, we're back in business. <laughs> oh, phew. Well, it got rid of the crime at least. Maybe it's just the natural, natural order of things. Maybe that's all it took. Maybe that's all that was required. How are we doing for power, by the way? Oh yeah, we're doing good. How are we doing for water? Not too great. We're gonna need some water. Okay, good. All right. Plenty of water, plenty of sewage, It looks like this stuff is connecting. Slowly. Not quite. It can't quite reach over. Okay, let's do that then. That's fine. I love how quickly I can whip around without any lag. It's so good, right? There's still a dead guy atop that mountain stinking up the open air market. It's true, yeah. They weren't residents, at least? I think they were. I think that's the thing, though. I think that they were residents. Alright, let's get some people moved in here. Um, how are we gonna, like do this bit down here. We want that to follow around like that, I think. And then we'll sort out the beach after. We're gonna probably have to remove these power lines too. This is pretty annoying. And then I think we're gonna have to like grid Maybe it's still better to grid like this way. Uh, maybe it is still better to do it like this. So we can connect them up like that. Okay. Sure. Let's do it like that then. Connect that up to there like that. That can connect up. Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. That's not... That's not that straight actually. We want it to meet up. It's... That one. That's a bit better. Okay, and then we need one in here to line up. Okay, that'll have to do. 
It's approaching like the end of the grid, right? Oh, look at this. We can get under here too. Perfect. Not so much there though. Okay, that's fine. And we have like one connection in. We might have one here too. <gasps> we do. Okay, that works. That's fine. It's just to get stuff on this other side here, right? Okay, and we're all hooked up with water here too. Good. Um, where do we have commercial right now? We have it lining these roads here. Which is what we want. Okay. We don't have it lining these roads up here, though. Which we could do with having. Since we have demand for commercial, we might as well satisfy the demand. And we have some demand for residential too that we could satisfy. Put in this grid. This is getting pretty built up now, isn't it? Holy crap, holy. It's nice. So hang on, where does this go? This goes to here. Oh yeah, it connects up this. That's right. And then this connects up everything on the outside. But we could connect it up up here. We could connect it like that, and then we can fix up the shoreline, right? I'll try to have a beach park. Okay. Oh, I see. So we have to, like, level it off a little bit. So that it's level with the road. And then we'll smooth it out. We could smooth all that out. That's fine. It's just to get rid of this like weird hump thing. Yeah, that's better. It's not the biggest beach, but it's fine doesn't need to be a huge beach. We just want some nice golden sands for all the honeys to lay on. We want these honeys to be able to lay on the beach. <laughs> God, I'm greedy. Look at how greedy I am. <laughs> I just gotta squeeze as much as I can into every little space. smooth it here. Okay, that's pretty good. And then we can have like the entrance to the beach around here. We can make this like a, we can use like a small entrance so that people come down here and use the beach. Let's try to do this, shall we? Let's get some nice fancy condos, like, right up on the front here, too. <laughs> I mean, they're not fancy condos, <laughs> but you know what I mean, right? Look, we have, like, this thing here and this old dock, and, like, all the poo is gone now, too. Which is pretty good. No. We need to have a nudity. We need a nudity policy. Yeah, there isn't one. Ooh. 
eco water treatment, cargo harbor, and harbor available now too. Nice. Okay, where's our cargo harbor, harbor gonna be? So we're gonna need one for these exports. You know what? We can maybe put it on this big island. We can maybe put it here where we're gonna like put the airport. Have like a shipping route. Will that work? It can't connect to the route from here, but it can from over here. So it would have to be over here instead on this big island. That's fine. This can be like, um, we could do like an industrial thing over here. That, that should be fine. It can't connect to route from here either. So it has to be here. There's no route the other side. It looks like the sea route is out there. Okay, good. So we'll, we'll make it on here. We'll make our cargo harbor and stuff here. That'll be fine. I think that'll be fine. All right, let's see about doing this beach now. Let's see if we can even do the beach. The beach has to have limits though. Because the lifeguard can only cover so much beach, right? What are we going to call this beach? Badanga Beach. Okay, nice. We got it. Alright, we need an entrance to the beach. We'll do a small... A, a small... Um, a small park main gate. I like that actually that's good all right we want to have we want to connect this up a little bit here and then we want to also have like some facilities and stuff here too right for the beach Okay, good. <laughs> Badanga Beach. Let's see if anybody actually comes to this beach while we're placing this stuff. <clears throat> okay, we don't need a fence for this beach. But let's get... What's this? A park pier. So we can actually have a pier. What's this one? This is a park pier too. Cool, actually. I like that. We have to hook it up with um, some paths, though, I think. Oh, my God. Get out of town. We have to hook it up with a path, though. That's the only thing. Do a little gazebo here. Okay. It's a gazebo, yeah. But... We can sell ice creams and stuff along the front here, too. And hot dogs. Oh. Fucking awesome. Okay. And then, we go into this one. Right? And we grab a bunch of canoes and stuff. Because it's like, it's the beach, right? You can hire a canoe. And go to the toilet, too, if you need to. You might need to use the toilet or something while you're out here. Or get changed into your bathing suit. Let's get a couple of changing booths here for the people. And then let's also put, like, one of these telescopes. No, we don't need a telescope. Okay. But we could do with, like some some folding outdoor table sets here so that when you want to eat your hot dogs you can oh, 
that's nice. I like that. We'll get some picnic tables over here too. 